Hi everyone, welcome back to AI Incarnation. Today I'm excited to show you how to build an automated daily digest using Anitin. We will pull the latest news articles from the RSS feed, fetch all the latest emails from Gmail and retrieve all the to-do tasks from to-do list. Then we will use a merge node to combine all of this data from different different streams into a single data. And then the code node will be used to create a clean HTML email template with inline CSS. And the final node will be the Gmail node to send out an email with a clean daily digest email. Let's jump right in. The very first node is the schedule trigger node. So I'm running my workflow at 7 a.m. daily. You can change it as per your need and you can change the schedule time. The next thing is that we are having the RSS feed node to pull all the latest news. The second thing is that we are having the Gmail node to pull all the recent emails. And the third one is the to-do list to get all the to-do items in my list. Since we need to process these together, we need a merge node to combine all of the data streams into a single data stream. Then the code node to take the merged node data and create our digest. In our code node, we will build a final JSON output that includes a subject and a HTML body. The final node will be the Gmail node to send out the email digest. Okay, let's start building the workflow. So we'll simply go to a new workflow and we will add RSS feed. This is the RSS feed URL that I'm going to use. Let me test this step. Okay, it's working. I'm having the latest news articles. The next thing is that we are going to add a Gmail node that will fetch all the latest emails from my account. And we'll say get many messages and I'm assuming that you are already aware how to set up the Gmail account on your Anytime. If you don't know or if you are facing any issues, you can drop me a comment. I'll be happy to help. And also I'll mention some steps or documents where you can follow the steps to set up the Gmail node. The operation is get many and we will set the limit as five and we'll simply test it. Okay, so we are able to fetch all the latest emails from our account. The Gmail node is set up and the third one is the to-do list so we will use to-do list and we'll get it get many tasks so for to-do list also i'm assuming that you are already aware how to set up your to-do list with anytin but if you face any issues you can drop me a comment i'll be there to help and we will simply say the limit as five and we'll test okay so we are able to fetch all the latest to do list items that we are having so these are the three items that we are going to fetch and the next node is the merge node to merge all of these data sources into a single data source so for merge we'll be using number of input as three we want the mode as append because we want to append all of this data into a single data so we will simply connect all this into the merge node so we have the merge node and we'll simply test it out Okay, so merge node has already combined all of this data into a single data. The next node is the code node. And for this, I've already created a code. I'll simply use that and I'll give you the code in the description below. Or you can modify this as per your need. I'm having three constants here. First is the news item that will get all the news items data. The next one is the email and the third one is the task. So these are the three different data that we are fetching. I'm storing these data in these constants and then I'm selecting the top five for the news, the top five for the email and the top five for the task that I'm having. So once that is done, I'll simply create a result variable. That is basically the HTML template that I'm going to build in this particular code. So I'm having the HTML and CSS and just appending all of these tasks and the articles that we are having. So once that is done, we'll simply return this result variable. That is the JSON and we can simply test this out. Okay, so we have the code node output. We'll simply see, okay. So this is the code node output we can see. So we have the subject and we have the body. So that's it. The last step is to connect to a Gmail node to send out an email. 
so we'll simply click on gmail and send a message and the email will be the email id that you want to send the email digest so i'm using my email id and the subject is already generated through the code block and since the email type is html we can simply copy and drag it here the email body and that will be sent out as the html so that's it we are done so we have completed the workflow we'll simply test this workflow let me test it out okay the workflow is completed and i think i've already received the email let me show you the email also okay there you go here is the daily digest that we have just generated so you can see that i'm having three tasks the next thing is that we are having the top five news it's already aligned and the next thing is that we are having the top five emails and that's it to wrap it up we have set up a powerful workflow in n10 that pulls data from various sources we have used a merge node to combine all of these different data sources into a single data then we have used the code block to craft a beautiful formatted html digest using inline css this digest gives you a quick glance of your task news and emails every day if you have enjoyed this tutorial hit the like button subscribe and leave a comment if you have any questions or ideas for future videos thanks for watching and happy automating